friend from work. What's up, guys? <laughs> Purple Boy here, back again with another trailer reaction, and I'm about, whew, I'm about like um, exhausted of trailers at this point, man. Golly, there's been so many of them, and I've just been working constantly, putting trailer reactions out one after another. So this has really been exciting, man, seeing all this really awesome stuff coming out. And pretty soon I'm going to be uh, releasing a video uh, kind of ranking all the trailers that I've seen. And just, you know, kind of, I, I might do like a top five sort of thing. So, yeah, man, that, that'd be pretty cool and interesting to watch. So, yeah, stick around. Uh, but, yo, uh, we have the uh, Comic-Con Thor Ragnarok trailer right here officially. Can't wait to get into it. Yo, so let's get into it. <laughs> so much has happened since I last saw you. I lost my hammer like yesterday, so that's still pretty fresh. <laughs> and then I went on a journey of self discovery. I am so excited for that. For, for, I want to. I can't wait to see how they integrate the Planet Hulk storyline. You see how the Marvel logo turned green there? That's pretty. That's one of the things I'm kind of worried about, man. This is this is supposedly Thor's last film. Um. So I wonder whether or not if Thor's storyline is going to take up too much of the movie. <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> Asgard is dead. She looks freaking awesome, by the way. Be reborn in my Scary as hell. I thought you'd be glad to see me. I need to stop her here and now to prevent Ragnarok, the end of everything. So they're putting together a team. <laughs> like the old days. Surprise! This will be such fun. Yo, man, I'm so excited for Thor. Here we go. I'm not a queen or a monster. I'm the goddess of death. What were you the god of again? Woo! Thunder, baby, what you talking about? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That oh, that last little bit, I absolutely loved it. The honestly, man, I haven't been too satisfied with the Thor films. Uh, I I really don't think they they just could not figure out a way to nail. A, a tone for the Thor movies. Well, actually, to be honest, I think <laughs> uh, the MCU pretty much has the same tone throughout all their films, unfortunately. I mean, I'm not going to get into that. But uh, as far as all the solo films, I think I, I will honestly have to say that Thor is probably my least favorite. And that's really unfortunate because I really like Chris Hemsworth and I like him as Thor. Uh, I don't like the direction that they've taken his character, but man, he has an interesting story. And I can remember uh, back to when Thor was first released. And I would say that the first half of that film was perfect. And I wish they would have continued that first half throughout the entire movie. Uh, and maybe continue it, you know, um, also in the second film. And the second film just failed. I mean, it, it was it was a good it was a cool movie. It was still entertaining. I'm not saying that it was not, 
but man, it really failed my expectations. I was really expecting something more than what I got from um, Thor The Dark World. And like I said, man, uh, the first Thor, the, that first half, that's what I wanted to see more of. And they did not deliver that. They couldn't, could not deliver that. I want to see more of that sort of Shakespearean uh, type storyline with, you know, um, the, the, you know, uh, brother against brother, you know, fighting for power and I mean, all this other stuff, sort of like a, you know, I don't know, man, some type of like Game of Thrones type, you know, uh, feel to it or something. I don't know. Yeah, we got a little bit of that in the first movie, but I would have liked to see that continue because I mean, from what I know of Thor in the comics and from other, um, animations and cartoons that I've seen, man, this Thor is, is is a little different. He's definitely more on the playful side. I think they're really pushing that sort of uh, meathead Thor, that sort of uh, jock and that just complete uh, loof. You know what I mean? Just, <laughs> and I, I don't know how I really feel about that, man. I really don't. Um, like I said, one of the biggest things I'm most excited about this movie is seeing Mark Ruffalo return as Hulk. And the Hulk scenes in this look freaking awesome, especially that last one. We're actually going to get to hear him talk, and that's amazing. And I love that. I cannot freaking wait to see this. Uh, one of the things I also want to say is that this really does feel like a Guardians of the Galaxy movie. Uh, it, it really does, man. It's I mean, like I said... I feel like Thor should have been that one that's really distinctive from all the other films. But even with uh, The Dark World and now with Ragnarok, it really is starting to feel like Guardians of the Galaxy. I mean, I mean, just look at it. You know what I mean? It it just it doesn't give me that sort of uh, what's the what's the idea that I'm looking for? Sort of that sort of Viking uh, Norse type of uh old mythology that I'm that was look that I was really looking for and hoping for uh when it came to these films and unfortunately they didn't deliver it. So I'm always gonna feel salty about that. Unfortunately. I'm whatever man. Say what you want. That's just how I feel. <laughs> But I'm still excited for it. Let me know in the comment section below what do you guys think about this new trailer? Are you excited for this movie? Uh yeah let me know and make sure you drop a like on this video. Please check out my other content. I have plenty to, 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 to eat up, man. So just go check it out. Um, I got movie reviews. I got other trailer reactions, especially to Justice League. Oh, it was so awesome. Go check out that trailer reaction. I really encourage you guys to check out my other content. Thank you so much for watching. And yo, come back for more, man. Because Purple Boy always got more, baby.